What's up, YouTube? I'm so whoa, whoa. <laughs> No, you don't get to steal my intro. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? I'm Sketchy Brett, YouTube sketches artist, and today I am in studio with my best mate Levi, uh, and we are. Well, I'm taking a brief from him for an illustration for some of his new merch. So be sure to check out his channel. I'll get you to make something rad to put here. Yeah. So it's at the end of my YouTube video, I always sign off saying, peace out, yo. Peace out, yo. Peace out, yo. Peace out, yo. So I'd like to basically make a piece of merch with a dude riding a bike. Um, yeah. Maybe in the corner and underneath we put peace out, yo. Like the oaks. Piecing out, yo. <laughs> okay, so we've got peace out, yo. Guy in the corner, leg out. Yeah, leg out. Leaning over. Okay, corner. Maybe some Biggie Sands brain. What's it going on? Uh, Is it like hoodies and shirts? Yeah, clothing. Just hoodies and t-shirts. Any branding? Maybe Liat on the jersey. L-E-A-T-T. -T. Yeah. Yeah. And then my race number 99 on the number boards. Yeah. Um, and maybe the Aldi logo. Front fender. Yeah. Um, you just want to keep the branding like to a minimum. Yeah. So I think that's okay. That's swaggy. Okay. Well, I think in terms of process, we'll do like some basic, real rough sketches mm -hmm. just to get like the pose. Yeah. Um, then I'm going to put it onto the iPad, do the full yeah. illustration okay. off of that. And then I'll show you and you can make any changes from there. Yeah. Swag. Cool. Sounds like a plan. Right, so we're gonna have like sort of number board, mm. front fender, your LD logo there. Yeah. And then it'll be leaned over. Yeah, and then kind of like crunched up, like nice and close. Yeah, you know, head close to the handlebars, helmet. Yeah. You know, what we could do here is we could put like a GoPro on his head, a little, you know, that's sick. Um, Biggie content creation. Yeah, you know, like a YouTube logo on there. Yeah. You know. And then we want like a boot sticking out here. Go put, get that foot up, you know. Foot up. And then maybe some like mud spraying out the back here, maybe a little bit coming through here just to yeah. give us some motion. Is that the kind of very swears? You know, I also have another idea now. Um, just the. So now we wouldn't have the back of the bike here, and the lettering comes out. Peace out, Joe. Okay. So, if this is our helmet here, yeah. arms coming out here, yeah. yeah, number board, leg, and you've almost like, yeah, something like that. That also looks pretty swears. Could even like have some of the mud kind of interacting with mm. this. And you can have That's like little cool. pieces coming off here. Yeah. Okay. We can maybe just what I think we'll do is we'll do the full one and then in digital. And then we'll be able to pull this piece off if we if we want. Yeah, and we've got it as an option. Yeah, that is yeah. sick. Okay, so I'm gonna start doing this on the iPad and then we'll get something that we can show you quite soon actually this is totally easy enough cool let's jump into the ipad 
Okay, so we're working now on iPad and I'm just going to get some basic shapes. Starting with the number board because that's kind of one of the distinguishing features with his number. So we'll put a 99 here. Obviously we'll work on a better font at a later time. So very rough at this stage. I've looked at some photos of Levi riding um, and we kind of just use that for reference. Then he wanted an LD. We'll get his logo from him at a later stage once we're a bit further down the line. Um, but yeah, at this stage I'm just kind of trying to get some basics done get the basic shape and then we'll refine from there. A lot of people try and get this without doing enough steps because they watch Instagram and they go like, oh, check, that guy just smashed it out straight away. It's just not how it works. Fortunately, because I ride as well, I kind of know bikes a little bit, so I know all, the, all of what we need to include in here. Watch me leave something out now. Leave, I come back and be like, oh, where's the this? So we need some levers. Hands on here. So there's the basic bike. And then I kind of want his some air vents here. I kind of want his foot coming in nice and tight here so that it's almost like hitting the ground. Or the boot. So we'll draw that in now. And, uh, helmet. That doesn't work. It's too closed. I want it to be a little bit more open so we can at least feel like we know him. Goggle strap, yeah. I'm doing this, obviously I'm normally working on paper, which is still where I started. I still start with a sketch, but because this is going to be used, I'm going to have to digitize this. So there's no point in me now sketching it all on paper, then putting it in, then digitizing it, because otherwise I'm just doing processes multiple times and there's not going to be any sort of artwork created out of this outside of uh, the digital art that he needs to create his merch with. So this will allow me far more room to play around, I can erase and tweak and change without having to just build up lines of sketches because uh, Levi's obviously going to have a lot of input in this. So that way I don't have to keep re-sketching from scratch. And uh, it'll also allow me to very easily turn this into a vector format that I can then send to him that he'll be able to send to his printers that will then go and make the actual garment. I wanted a um, GoPro on here. Put the little logo.
So I think we've got a first basic, sort of more detailed, more finished version. So I'm just going to ask Levi to come in at this point and see if the direction is still right and then start to work it to a finished image. So do we have to address why you've got... Uh, yeah, you have f***ing Roy Boss T. <laughs> this isn't a moto channel. You have to talk nicely. You're yeah. flippin' Roy Boss T. Spilt on my jersey. <laughs> and burnt the c*** out of me. <laughs> it feels like we have to start this again. Okay, so I've asked Levi to come back because um, we've made some changes from the original sketches. Um, so this original guy was sort of more upright, but looking at some of your photos and things like that, I've lent him over even more. It also means that he hits the dirt with the tires and whatever. So at the moment it's yeah. It's sideways like this, but I I kind of feel like it would be more at an angle. Like this is almost a horizon line. Mm. Got you. Yeah. And then you also, you've got cool amount of space to add your piece out here. Yeah. It also looks more aggressive like that. But now that looking at the blocked out version, it looks like um, he's on the road. Road bike, yeah. yeah. Okay. It looks moto -y. So that's swag. So we've got, I think we've got all the elements. We've got Leotia, we've got the GoPro 99 LD. Yeah. So now I'll just work on the line work and then get a final sign off, then vectorize. Good to go. Hundies. Maybe we make like Also, I have that 99. The shirt, like fly the shirt out. 99. Put your belly button in there. <laughs> Well, at least put a belly ring then. No, we could do that. It could also just give you a pens. But actually, the shirt movement could be quite rad. I do like that idea. But more like that. Yeah. Or oh, maybe rental on the bar pad, sorry. But we can just put those vector logos in there. It's not like I'll add those in when we add vector stage, stage because yeah. it's pointless putting them in now. Got it. And that. So you you'll you'll send me all the logos then. Yeah. In vector. I'll just get all of them in vector. Okay. Cool. Swag. Exciting stuff. That looks rad. Hopefully everyone buys the merch. If no one buys the merch, I'm blaming Brett. Why is he blaming me? I'm just gonna make this opacity lower. And then we start trying to turn this into a final. So the important thing at this point is to try and have as many lines as possible touching because we've got to consider that we've got a um, final cutter that's going to cut these out. So if they're not joined, then there's just going to be this nightmare to work with and then you're going to have little elements that are getting stuck or unstuck. So you need to think of it from both perspectives of like where you want it open and where you want it joined. You have to become a lot more deliberate. So like here, I'm gonna leave a little opening and then this whole piece will be able to pull, be pulled off when they go into manufacturing. I'm just gonna do a little guideline here so that I can keep things nice and straight where they need to be and sketchy when they're not. I actually want to change this top a little bit. I want to bring it out a little bit more just to give it some more shape.
So I'm using line weight predominantly to kind of show shadow because we're not going to be able to put shadows in here. This is a single color print. So I can do that and then I can also do this sort of flicks like that that will help give an idea of light and tone. I also can't have anything too close together. If it's too close like that, you can see that the, the cutter, the thing that's cutting the vinyl, isn't going to be able to get in there. So those will either both be removed when they separating or um, it's not going to look the way it's supposed to. So these are some of the things you've got to bear in mind. So in terms of this, you want to kind of have as thick as your line weight, a minimum distance of that away from anything else. Unless it's like here where it's come to a deliberate point, the cutter can come in and out. So when it gets peeled off, that'll be fine. So I've made this also, I've just made it a little bit bigger because there's a logo coming in there now. So that now needs a bit more room than it did before. And now we have to deal with, we can't just do hands like that anymore. So we actually have to deal with this and we've changed the orientation. So I'm going to add a line, uh, add a layer here where I can just plan out my size and orientation of the hand. Then go back. One, two, three. This is not going to be fun for the person who has to make these. I can tell you that much for free right now. So you see like yeah, I've gone, like that's definitely too narrow. So I've either got to open it right up or close it right up. I think I'm going to leave it open. If this was a, just a normal illustration, I'd probably want to put in some details for knuckles and things like that. I'm leaving all that out. It's just for, for what it's being used for, that won't work. This is not something I do very often. Um, this is more the illustration work that I've done in the past is more for things like uh, advertising. Um, what do you call those things? Storyboards, that sort of thing. So this isn't something I do very often, although. There is an exciting, that's horrible. There is an exciting project in the works at the moment uh, where it looks like I'm going to be illustrating a children's book, which is something I've always wanted to do. And there's a pretty cool story about a rat um, that I got pitched yesterday, which I actually really liked. So. We're busy working through some of the commercials on that and it's looking quite promising so that'll be a fun one and we'll obviously put everything on the tube for that so the one thing the one reason i know this is going to be a horrible job for whoever is uh, going to be the person who ends up doing the actual shirts is because in the beginning all my own merch and stuff like that i did myself i bought a cutter i bought the um, heat press and all of that so i'm trying to be as kind as i can because i know what this feels like sometimes so <laughs> but 
but it's still gonna be a bit of a nightmare. Especially with those big fingers. Why is that so horrible? Okay, I think that's better. See, like that's gonna look cool. That's how I'd want it, but it's not gonna work. So I have to open it up. That'll work. Now we just work our way through the design. The other thing we have to do is work on the tire because it's going to be this big gnarly knobblies all over it. So we're going to put those in first. Oh, that actually looks quite cool. I'm going to leave the axle out because then I'm going to lose these two knobblies, which I don't want to do. Adding some clips onto the boots so that it looks more booty. And he said he quite liked the idea of the shirt flipping up. Except, if I do it here, which is where it was before, it's actually like right up to his chest line, which is gonna look weird because we made this bar pad bigger. So I'm gonna bin that idea and explain to him why. But it no longer works. Let's try something here with the goggles. That's what we needed. My iPad, work with me. This iPad has been through the ringer. Hashtag through the ringer. Hashtag iPad, iStore, Apple, send me a new iPad. I think I'm just gonna do this. What if we do this? I've used this screen so much that it doesn't work so good anymore. So here's a little trick. I'm doing a new layer because I want to do this in one swipe. Then I can delete wherever it's Messing up the, the GoPro.
but I've got a nice flowing line behind it. Then all I need to do is pinch them together and we're there. Yeah, this guy has to look jacked because it's Levi. This line's not working. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? Just gonna pull it back a little bit so that it's not, but still goes into a point that works. So just refining some of these shapes. Now, I'm gonna add another layer again, and I just wanna try something. So very rough. I just wanna get an idea of what it would look like if the jersey was all black. If it's gonna to be too much or not, so we don't really worry about the lines or anything. It's just to get an idea of what it would look like. Is it making it better or worse? I think it's better. It makes the image more bold without taking anything away from it. So I'm going to create a layer underneath now where I can do this properly. I'm going to color this whole background in and then afterwards I will come back and using white make some of these what are currently shadows I'm going to make them into highlights and we'll see but I don't want to mess my image up so that's why I'm working with the layer underneath so that I can still backtrack on this idea if I need to and that is definitely one of the reasons we're working in digital. Get to try things like this without having to worry. Now, go here, select that, then go back to my bottom layer. So I'm gonna pinch these together, then I'm gonna start putting in some. Some lines here. Right, so these are starting to look quite cool. I just want to start adding some shadows. Also thinking this needs to be black. However, that does make these quite hard to deal with. Let's see if that works. No. I think these guys are gonna have to be white then. Okay, let's try something here. We're gonna color in this whole wheel.
We'll have a quick look here. Yeah, we can work with that. It also helps balance the composition so much nicer. Mm. Which is why we're going to do the same thing on the foot, except for that line. We need a darker element somewhere here, so I think I'm going to make the shocks dark as well. And then I think... The UI! Okay, so... Wait, wait, wait. It's just... <laughs> No, okay, it's getting boss. Are you ready? Well, it's getting serious now. Yeah. No more. I'm glad we put nobodies in there because the Road slicks tire. weren't doing well for me. No. Um, so I tried just writing in the things that actually looks quite cool. Because my only worry is that... It doesn't lose, match. Yeah, that you lose that style. Mm. This illustrated style, I think it's quite cool, but we can always add it in later if you want. The numbers I don't like with the style, but those two look cool. What, uh, maybe like square, because so those look like G's. I thought you were a G. Yeah, I'm a GG, but not on my number board, you know. Yeah, in. Okay, can you just get it first time? Yeah, I didn't get it the second time though. Yeah, that's way better. And then that's the orientation, like there. Mm -hmm. And then you put the piece out here. I made you jacked. You know, I mean, it's pretty realistic, I would say. <laughs> In terms of caricature. <laughs> um, you know, I don't even think I would change anything. I think it's this client, he said, now doesn't want any time. Wait, there is one change. Right. <laughs> so long as you're changing it. Yeah. That. Do we need a little oak here at the bottom? There you go. Mm. You check. Shrag. Cool. Uh, Let's sell some merch with sketchy bread sketches. Yeah. Otherwise, apparently, it's my fault. Um, you can uh, you get a free shirt. Can you choose a video for them? Yeah, this one here. It's a good shout. Or this one. And until next week, keep it sketchy. Peace out, yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, it's me again. <laughs> Yeah. Please tell me you're still filming. Oh, that's the end. That's our end clip right there. <laughs>